All right, welcome back to this week's edition of the Kingsport blog. And uh, today, the Welcome Center has begun construction on I-26. So if you're using that area, please watch for lane closures. Uh, it's been a nine-year process to get that uh, Welcome Center sited and under construction. It's fully funded by the Appalachian Regional Commission and the state of Tennessee. Uh, there are no local funds involved in that. Um, a new bridge will be built over I-26, so it will be a full north and southbound access unlike most welcome centers. The reason the welcome center was placed at that particular location was that's the highest traffic count on I-26 uh, in Tennessee. So uh, it'll be able to be signed from 81. So if you're coming in from 81 toward Kingsport and you want to stop at the welcome center, you can stop the coming that direction as well. So we look forward to that being completed soon. On the retail front, Kingsport's retail sales tax collections uh, continue to improve. On a monthly basis, this August was the second best of the past six years, which is a very good sign for our merchants. For the fiscal year to date, which is the two months of July and August, we nearly tied the high of the last six years. Again, good news for the local economy. On the move to Kingsport front, uh, we will be uh, co-oping with Food City on a full page ad in the game day program edition of the Knoxville News Sentinel when our Dobbins Bennett Band performs on October 1st at the U UT Buffalo game. The ad will highlight the successes of Dobbins Bennett and also the band, uh, emphasizing yet another reason to choose Kingsport as your place of residence. We'll be attending the American Association of Retirement Communities meeting in Mississippi next month, and Kingsport has been chosen for the 2012 convention. Uh, hats off to the Kingsport Convention and Visitors Bureau for bringing it to Kingsport. The Cleek Farm cor Corn Maze is up and running, so if you haven't got a chance to get out there, go check it out. Uh, it's a great agritourism initiative, and uh, Zane and Kay are doing a great job and their family. It's got all the bells and whistles just off Stone Drive on Cleek Road, just past Walgreens and Target, and it adjoins the Kingsport Greenbelt. So go see Zane and Kay and be sure and tell them that Jeff sent you. We run Events, which is the locally owned company that uh, stemmed out of the Crazy Eights uh, race initiative. Uh, it's owned by Hank Brown and Tyler Hobbs, has been chosen to time the New York City Marathon. So it's a tremendous honor. And it's always great to see uh, locals, a local idea growing into something of national prominence. So congratulations, Hank, Tyler, and all the good folks that we run Events. We're really proud of you, and we'll be watching for you on November 6th. Planning Commission update, annexation does continue in the Colonial Heights area. The Planning Commission approved annexations in the Kendrick Creek Valley. We are following drainage basins so that we can plan for the installation of sewers in logical drainage basins. So when you look at the boundary and if it, if it looks a little out of sync to you, uh, just remember that we're following drainage basins so that we can install gravity flow sewer because that's the most cost effective way to install sewer over the long haul. We, we try to avoid pumps whenever necessary. We also are planning it in stages that we can absorb $3 million of sewer work per year so that we can keep user rates uh, where they are projected for the next several years without adversely impacting other Kingsport residents. Uh, the Planning Commission approved annexations in Kinder Creek Valley along Buckaloo, Beechwood, Foothills, and also the area between Lebanon Road and Fort Henry Drive uh, behind uh, Colonial Heights Middle School. In October, annexations are going to continue in the Kinder Creek uh, Valley and they'll focus on Meadow Lane in the Quell Creek neighborhood and that'll include more than 600 people right near the intersection of 81 and 26 where Kendrick Creek Road and Meadow, Meadow Lane come together and all of the short streets that uh, connect to that area. So the city's current population officially is 49,275. With all the annexations that are currently in the hopper, we expect Kingsport's population to top 50,000 by the end of this year. That's your five minute update. And if you'd like to receive this information on a regular basis, you can write to me at kingsportblog at gmail.com. That's kingsportblog at gmail.com or send me a friend request on Facebook.